Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Back at you with another one on today. I am your main man, TA of Noble Sports Entertainment. If you have not subscribed to this channel, then what are you waiting for? Because we talk sports, period. All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to talk about the NBA Finals Game 6, uh, where it all went down. Kawhi Leonard, NBA champion. Crazy. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, pretty much, man, if you got an opportunity to watch the NBA Finals, you know that it was a classic you know that it was uh it was everything that um as a basketball fan you can um you could possibly want you can possibly dream of it was competitive it wasn't no blowouts um hard fall games uh my head go off to uh the Golden State Warriors for trying to three peat it's not an easy thing to three peat and uh Kawhi Leonard man my head goes off to him because I got a different um respect for Kawhi Leonard for what he was able to do you know just think about the season that Kawhi Leonard had you know what I'm saying no one thought that he was going to even be able to take the Toronto Raptors to the uh championship um let alone win it but uh Toronto man um my head go off to them too man because it's their first time ever getting a NBA championship and I know that DeMar DeRozan definitely wanted to be a part of this and uh, I hate the only fact that is that he couldn't be a part of uh, what those guys were able to do because he got traded for the guy that won the MVP, and that's Kawhi Leonard. But at the same time, man, it was a great it was a great basketball series. Um, injuries did play a part in this, but you know you got to keep playing and you got to keep going with the uh, you know, rolling with the punches. KD ended up getting hurt in Game Five. He tried to give it a go, um, wishing um, KD well that he'll get a. Um, that he'll make a speedy recovery uh, from his uh, ruptured Achilles. But, man, it was just, I mean, you know, it was just that Toronto really, really wanted it, man. Toronto really wanted it. And uh, the Golden State Warriors, I believe they wanted it as well, but it just wasn't another fight. The injury bug had really, really riddled and hit the Golden State Warriors where, you know, Klay Thompson ended up getting hit with the uh, injury bug in this game. He can matter of fact, Klay Thompson got hit with the injury bug two times in this game because one time it was the hamstring, and then this time it was the knee. So definitely, man, I hope that Klay is all right. I know he'll have an MRI just to check out his knee to see if anything happened. Hopefully he did not mess up his knee and that he'll be fine, but we'll find out once he gets that MRI. Definitely it was the last game at Oracle Arena, and you would think that the Golden State Warriors – would be the ones host, hosting up the trophy, but it was not that way on tonight. Kawhi Leonard pretty much, you know, did what he needed to do to get his uh, team to where they needed to be. And uh, one thing um, I want to say how Toronto won the championship, basically, if you look at it, they played team basketball. When you're going against the Golden State Warriors, you have to play team basketball. You cannot be trying to play hero ball or going out and trying to score 40 points. As an individual, you have to go out there with the mission of saying we're going to play team ball and um, whoever's uh, open, hey, knock down your shots. And uh, they played as a team, man. They played as a unit. And that's why they was able to beat the Golden State Warriors. And they played really, really good defense, man. That's something um, that you didn't think that they were going to be able to do on Golden State. But they were able to do that. Led by Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, definitely, man, is one of my favorite players now in the NBA. I got a different respect for this guy. He is a beast all by himself. He he has been able to beat LeBron James. He stopped LeBron James from three-peating, and now he stopped uh, Stephen Curry, um, Steph Curry from um, three-peating as well. So I guess you want to say he does, he's the slayer of the three-peat. Because uh, Kawhi Leonard is not going to allow you to three-peat at all. But definitely, man, hats off to Kawhi Leonard. All the stuff that people talked about him, you know, all the ridicule that Kawhi Leonard took for leaving the San Antonio Spurs. You know, a lot of fans was asking, like, man, why would Kawhi Leonard want to leave San Antonio? And where else team, what else team would he go to and he would be able to do um, such the things that Kawhi did this season? But Kawhi Leonard had a phenomenal season, man. 
This is one season for the ages. This is a season that you'll never forget. 2019, Kawhi Leonard being traded over to the Toronto Raptors and ended up winning an NBA championship. That doesn't happen too often. And Toronto just pretty much, man, they handled, they beat everybody that you didn't think they were going to beat. You didn't think they were going to beat Philly. You didn't think they were going to beat um, Milwaukee. And then you didn't think they were going to beat Golden State. And they beat everybody that was in their way. Some great shots, great playoff basketball by Kawhi Leonard. And uh, definitely Kyle, Kyle Lowry definitely stepped up in this series and gave it his all. So what a phenomenal effort by um, the Raptors on tonight. And uh, everything that you couldn't imagine happened. And they were able to do the impossible. And that's be able to uh, win the game and be able to do, do it in a... Um, a great fashion, man. So heads off to uh, the Raptors and heads off to the Golden State Warriors. What a great NBA final. And uh, I'm out of here, guys. Till next time. Peace.